I was taking pictures of Comet 3 Atlas last night. I started around 9.30 or so. Comet 3i is in this unique position where the sunlight is shining directly on the Comet 3i while we are looking at it when it is going towards Jupiter. But anyway, so I was taking pictures last night and I wanted to share my thoughts about how the pictures are looking. I'm going to show you the pictures as well. So on January 22nd, 2006, we will be seeing the Sun, Earth, 3 Atlas are on the same plane. Jupiter is on the other side of 3 Atlas. So we will be seeing the Sun shining on 3 Atlas and Earth, folks on the Earth like us, looking at 3 Atlas in full brightness. I think we are seeing that already a little bit now, but I think on 22nd we will also see it properly aligned as well. We will see how pictures will differ from what we are taking today versus on the 22nd. So we have this anti-tail tail of this comet and then I was showing this interstellar object having like jets, right? What I'm noticing now is a lot more pronounced jets of Comet 3i. The jets are not long. They they became shorter. I don't know, it's like, that's how at least I look at it. And they are much shorter, shorter jets. There are like five or six of them around. And usually that, those jets are the ones that are rotating all the time whenever we take pictures and try to time lapse it. And now the shorter jets are still rotating. I'll show you those pictures. It's pretty unique appearance on how it is looking. So this is another unique view on January 22nd. So you can see the sun directly shining on the three atlas. So we may be able to see the three eye in full force. There is an article that was written by Avi Loeb and he says that this is the rare alignment and it only happened once with one other comet. And this Sun-Earth axis on 22nd is fairly unique. I guess his point was when the Sun, the object, the observer are nearly aligned, the shadows that are going to cast by the dust particles are behind the particles. So this eliminates the dark areas and increasing the object brightness. So we need to see how different from the pictures that we are taking today. Uh, with the comet that is going so far away from the Earth now, it is getting slightly dimmer. Um, it's still bright. It, it shows up because of the sunlight is glowing on it. But it is considerably low in terms of brightness compared to what we have seen before. So we may be having time like another two, three weeks at the most to take good pictures of Comet 3A. So by the time it gets to Jupiter, I think it will become like really small, really like a tiny dot. That's how it looks like. So I've been sharing like all the data, all the pictures. You can take a look at all the playlists that I have on Comet 3 Atlas. So thanks for being member, some of them at least on the channel. And thanks for subscribing. We'll be watching the planets, uh, the planet Jupiter, all the moons, hopefully maybe a dot of comet, three atlas over there. Uh, looking if we can take a look at uh, the any of the moons and comet 3A, that would be a fantastic view to watch. But uh, don't expect too much. It will be a very small dot. That's what I'm expecting. So even with the less pronounced and maybe a bit dimmer view of Comet 3A. It is still shining, glowing, all that stuff. Uh, definitely it proves that Comet 3A is somewhat kind of a unique uh, situation that we have. So let me quickly show you the pictures that I have. And um... so I started taking pictures 
last night until 1:30 at 1:30 i had to stop because of the wind that started shaking the telescope like a wind sail so i got around 20 to 30 pictures i'm going to show you those anti jet that is there is pretty significantly visible now more prominent than ever before like whenever we see comet 3i you don't see them with a long tail now we are seeing with a tail which is actually an anti jet now i'm not doing it closer to the sun i can do a time lapse for you and you can see the jet that is pointing towards sun while it is going towards the jupiter you can see some of the stars are moving because of the wind I cleaned up these pictures. I removed some noise. It is still looking very bright. fairly significantly long tail and as not as bright as before but you can start seeing some of that stuff faded away but what got my attention was once i started zooming in i started noticing these individual jets that are flying i'll show you what i mean right around there you see that i'll move out let's go you will see right there you see that those i hope you can I I'll further zoom in a little bit. You will see like these two here. You see some more. You can only see it in some spots you don't see them all the time anyway i did a comet alignment so that it doesn't move so now the stars will move the comet will remain in one place it's not supposed to be this bright but it is still doing its let me zoom in further
That's where you see more. You see that? Like multiple of them. I, I zoomed in as much as I can. I hope you are seeing those individual jets. They are more prominent in this picture. In this picture as well. <laughs> right there. Not really sure why those jets are much smaller now, maybe because it is too far from the earth. I know like I zoomed in quite a, quite a lot to show you that picture, so it looks a bit blurry, but I hope you're seeing some, some uh, data at least. So if you, that's all I have for tonight. I'm going to take pictures again this evening. I will show you the pictures tomorrow because it's getting pretty interesting now how these pictures are coming out. I'll see you all tomorrow in the next video. Thank you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And uh, click on the like button and notifications button. Uh, appreciate for all the memberships all the people who joined as members to the channel. Thank you.